In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this lower test in Final Cut Pro and also save it as a preset and use it in your future videos. Let's get started. So go to your left side of the software under titles, choose basic title, drag and drop on your timeline. Then click on the on screen, drag it till it snap and goes to the center of the frame. Let's change that to real Joey. Go to the font style. I'm going to go with D dot. Go with bold. The size, I'll change it to 60. Scroll down. With the face, I'll change it to somewhere grayish. So let me bring this out so I can really change it right here. So somewhere here will be okay. Close this. Now go back to your left side of the software. Scroll down. Go to solids. Choose custom. Drag and drop on your timeline. Go to the right side of the software, click on generator inspector side, change the color over there. With this, we'll go with white. Close this. Go to the video inspector. With the crop, we'll start playing around with the parameters. Top, drag it to somewhere here. So now we have 996. Click on this side and write the same over there, 996. So we get it exactly the same with the top and bottom. We'll go to left, we'll drag this side. Somewhere here will be okay. So that was 1532. We'll do the same thing with right. 1532. Now to not get ourselves confused, let's rename this custom. So that will be our right. I'm going to make a duplicate of that. Press option, click and drag to make a duplicate. Let's rename this left. Now click on the title. Option command with the arrow, top arrow, to lift from the main storyline. We'll drag this to somewhere here. And now to make everything nice and clean and know exactly what we're doing, go to your view side, choose horizon so we can get the lines on the screen. Then go to your left, click on that, press V to disable that for now. Click on the right, we go to our effects browser side, go to mask, Choose shape mask, drag and drop on your right. Go to curvature, change it to zero. We change the feather to zero too. Now let's make this small. Just work around it. And remember this is the right one, so we drag it and just show the right side. And at the same time, we make sure it's right in the middle with this yellow line. That's the line we're using for this. And now this is what you do. We make some keyframes. To make that, make sure you go to the very first frame of your right. Click on the transform side, still under shape mask. Make sure you select the shape mask. Make a keyframe under position. Go 15 frames forward. Make another keyframe under position. Use this arrow to go back to the previous keyframe we made. And this time around, we're gonna use the X axis, drag it to your right side to we clear off the solids. We'll do the same thing with the left now. So press V to enable the clip. Go to shape mask, drag and drop on your left. Curvature, we change that to zero. Feather, we change that to zero. Let's make this small, nice and clean to this side. I remember this for the left, so we drag it to the left to where the line is as exactly we did with the first one. So somewhere here will be clean. And the same way we make a keyframes under transform too. So make sure you go to the very first frame, click on this drop down menu under transforms, click on position, go 15 frames forward, make another keyframe. Now use this arrow to go back to the very first keyframe we made, then drag it to the left side. Now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like. It comes in nice and clean and then our test come. Now this is what you do. Make sure the test starts exactly at where the two solids meet. To make ourselves not confused, let's go to the very first frame. Go 15 frames forward. Let's drop a marker over there by pressing M so we know exactly where it is. Now drag your test to that very side. Now the next step, click on your title, go to your mask, choose shape mask, drag and drop on your title. We change the curvature to zero, feather to zero. Let's make this small. Now this is what we do, we make a keyframe on that too. Go to your shape mask, click on this drop down menu and make a keyframe under position. Go 10 frames forward, make another keyframe 
on the position. Now go to the first keyframe you made by using this arrow and this time around with the X axis, drag it to your right side. Now I'll play and show you guys what we have so far. So when it comes together, the test also reveal itself. Now this what you do, make a duplicate of either left or right by pressing option, dragging upwards. This time around, we drop it on top of the titles. Let's rename this so we don't get ourselves confused. So with this, we'll name it review. Still on the review that we just created, go to your generator inspector side, we change the color to orange. Go back to your video inspector with the transform, click on this drop down menu and reset the parameters over there. So now we don't have any keyframes made. We're gonna make a new keyframe to that reveal. Now click on this side. We just wanna make it very small. Drag this side to something like this will be cool. Drag it to this very side. Make sure you're still on the reveal. Make sure you click that. Go to the shape mask. Click on this drop down menu under transforms. Make a keyframe under position. Go 10 frames forward. Make another keyframe on position. Go to the very first keyframe you made. Drag the X axis to your right side. Now click on this arrow to go to the very next keyframe we made. And with that, we'll just drag it to the other side. Now the next step, go to your titles, choose basic title, drag it on your timeline. And for now, we'll just change the color, but we'll later on change it back to white, just to not make ourselves confused. So with this, go to face, change the color. Let's change it to red for now. Scroll upwards, change the test. With this, we'll go with Videographer. We go to D dot, we use the same font style. We choose regular and then we change the size to somewhere 40. Now just drag it downwards and now we can change the color back to white. Now make sure you click on the videographer test we have. Go to the very first frame of that. Go to your video inspector side. Make a keyframe under position. We go 25 frames forward. Make a keyframe under position. Now use this arrow to go back to the first keyframe you made and under Y axis, change it to 130. Now with the videographer test, drag it to the very bottom on your timeline. So it's gonna reveal behind all of them. Now we can take the horizon off. So I will show you guys how it looks like so far. It comes in nice and clean. Now we're done with the beginning. So we have to do the same process with the ending. So we'll make it nice and clean and also look so professional. I know it involves a lot of steps. So with that, what you do is go 15 frames backwards, drag this ones to that very part. We just want this two to be the remaining part because that's going to be the last one that's going to go out on the screen. So still on your right, Go to the last but one frame. Go to your shape marks. Make sure you select your shape mask. And remember we did keyframes on position. So we make a keyframe over there. Go 14 frames backwards. Make a keyframe and a position. And this what you do. Use this arrow to go to the last keyframe we made. So this we just click on that. It's gonna take us to the very next one on our right side. Drag the X axis to your right side. Remember this our right one. Now we do the same thing with the left. Make a keyframe on transform. Go 14 frames backwards. Make a keyframe there. Now use this to go to the last keyframe we have. And this time around on the X axis, we drag it to our left side. Remember that was our left. Now we have to do the same keyframes we did with the rest of them. So with this, we'll start with the reveal. Let's click on reveal. Go to your last but one frame. Make a keyframe on position. Go 10 frames backwards. Make a keyframe there too. Now use this arrow to go to the next keyframe. And this time around, we'll drag the X axis till it goes all the way to the right side. Now do the same thing with the title. Click on the title. Make sure you select your shape mask. So we make a keyframe on position. Go 10 frames backwards. Make a keyframe under position. Now use this arrow to go to the last keyframe we have. Then with that, with the position, drag the X axis till it clears the whole test. And now we need to clean up the videographer test below. Click on that, go to your last but one frame. Make a keyframe under position go 25 frames backwards 
make a keyframe there. Now I use this arrow to go to the last keyframe and with the Y axis we change it to 130. Now I'll show you guys how to save it as a preset and use it later on in your future videos. With that, click on this icon to bring the export file default. Click on that, go to settings, make sure you choose video and audio. Apple ProRes, make sure you choose 4444. Click on next, go to where you want to save it. So with this, let me name it clean, lower test, save. Now let's say if you have a video like this, let me drop it in my timeline, turn this down. Just go to your folder or wherever you save that. Maya save it under desk, clean lower test, just drag it on your timeline. As you can see, it comes nice and clean. Now, if you want to see more tutorials on Final Cut Pro, you can check on this. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.